Maybe get off to school, all right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was thinking of you. He wanted to come to the funeral today, but I didn't think no, it was. No, I understand. We'd have all been with you, Martin. But with the murder, I just didn't want to put the kids through it. I'm... Yeah, it's all right, Gail. You don't have to explain. No one does. It was always just me and Katie before. No reason to change that now, is there? Are you going to be OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'll manage. I let her down often enough when she was alive, but... I won't let her down today. I done you a fry up. No, no, sir. Well, don't blame you. I've always been more of a Johnny than a Fanny, Craddock wise. I were lost in that kitchen. You need a degree just to get a brew these days. Well, well give me a campfire and a skewer and a rabbit carcass be another matter. <laughs> hey, we could go out with Baum one weekend. I'm a bit long at tools to go under canvas, mind. Martyr to me lumbago. Many of the time I've been bent double on a blow-up bed crying out for me wintergreen ointment. But don't have to be the countryside. We could go to the football. But I don't fancy Hillsborough. You know me, die our blade. <laughs> well, we could go to United one week and Wednesday the next. I tell you, the pies at Bramwell Lane are worth the entrance money alone. Will you shut up? Well, there's no call to talk to me like that. I know it's not easy for you. Not easy? Not easy? I'm burying my sister today. The sister that murdered me dad and then committed suicide. My mum can't help because she's in prison. And you're talking to me about the pies at Sheffield United. I'm sorry I upset you, lad. Today of all days, but it's hard for me, you know, and I don't know what to say to you after time. Then don't say anything. You don't have to talk. You don't have to do anything! Ready? Yeah. Hard to believe Kate is in there. Oh, don't go shedding any tears. Eye for an eye and all that. You know, you're an hard face cat sometimes. She was only 18. Old enough to cave her dad's head in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but she couldn't live with it in the end, though, could she? It's that lad I feel sorry for. She'd never have to go through this. Not at his age. Oh, come on. Are we going for dinner or what? You all right? Yeah. Sorry it's just the half hour, but... It's all right. You don't make the rules. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but please. You should 
come out of there feeling uplifted, like like a weight's been taken off, but it was just empty words bouncing off empty pews. Fuck should have been there. Look, people like these black and white though, don't they? It's easier to judge than to forgive. Okay, you go on. Oh, it's all right, all right. No, it was not a point. She was only 18, Ailey. Where's the consolation when you're burying her future? Still, all you can do is brace yourself, eh? Just give me a minute. For our sister Katie, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection of the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. saying goodbye. It's not right. It'll never be right. It shouldn't have happened, none of it. I'm sorry, love. I forced you to live with something that you just couldn't. And I've got to do the same now. And the only way I can do that is by hoping and praying that you knew, you know why. It was for you, love. Your sake, nothing else. So it was the same with me and your dad. It was you and Craig first, yeah? And we loved you more than life and always will. Where did you do it, eh? We'd suffered enough. What had we done to deserve you? Please, love, this isn't the time. When is the right time, the right place? My daughter's dead because he poisoned her life. If it weren't for him, she'd be well on the way to university by now. Uh, me and Tom sat up nights dreaming about that and grandkids. And we'd have seen it all, both of us. But for him, wouldn't we, eh? Look, whatever you or anyone else thinks, I love Katie. Only that you cared in your own way. But she wasn't a part of you. Your pain will pass. You'll move on. I have no life left now. I don't ask my heart to beat. Mum. No, I'm sorry, love. Don't say that wrong, but if it weren't for you, I'd be long gone, but... I never thought... I'd be envious of a bit of dirt. I can only ache. This will smooth my case and lie with Tommy and be close to everything I was and ever wanted to be. My strength, my hope, my life. And you took it all and it meant nothing to you! It's all right. It's all right, Lord. It should be fine. Time's up. No, I'm sorry. Just give me a few minutes with me, son, please. I'm sorry. No, please. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, what Angela said. She needed to vent it on someone. Oh, yeah. And where do I vent my feelings, eh? Our grief's like water. It takes its own path. But don't lash out at your friends in the meantime. Sympathy's quicker lost than gain. Sympathy? Oh, that's a laugh. What sympathy? I was walking down that street today. 
and it was as if Katie's coffin was invisible. I mean, OK, I didn't expect the clocks to stop. But her friends, they were passing by as if now out of the ordinary was happening. Hmm? When the most sickening, unnatural thing was staring them in the face. They abandoned her. Then it's up to the likes of you and me to keep her memory alive. Be a sight easier if we put this bad blood behind us. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, I wish to God you'd never clapped eyes on him. But I can see you cared. No. I don't cover it. They talk about couples finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> she never let me start half of mine. She changed my life. She lifted me head up. She made me look forward. Hmm? I doubt I'll ever raise me head again. It's hard to imagine on days like these. I remember when they buried my cousin. Couldn't have been much older than Katie. Car smash it were. Anyway, we went back to his man's and we're all sitting there. Now but mantle clock breaking silence. And then my granddaddy, he, he gets up and taps his pipe out on the grate and he says, I've lived too long. After all these years, I finally understood what he meant. Do you want another? Yeah. That's my shout. <laughs> 